Okay, folks, we got the Defender here on the trailer beside the travel trailer nothing could go wrong nothing can go wrong here like the uh secured with yeah we got we got some air. chocks under the wheel here so that's safety and then we have nothing hooked up here and the buggy's not strapped down anymore. how much does the buggy weigh Brandon? probably around 1800 well, yeah 1800 so pounds put, like if you did like counterweight yeah counterweight right? that counterweight yeah. that back that's it off perfect I like your thinking, Mikey. You know, let's give her a try. Yeah. What okay. can go wrong? I'm gonna put I'm gonna put a little bit more counterweight on there. You think so? Sure that, yeah, that's a big one. Yeah. Okay. All right, here we go. Yeah. I'll film the carnage and call the police. <laughs> let's see. Let's see what happens here. Put that on. <laughs> I don't know if I'm in a good spot. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you should straddle it like a seesaw. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and I'll land up in the park. This is probably not a good idea, but... Okay, fire in the hole. Fire in the hole. Oh. <laughs> yep, that just went. go easy. That went. <laughs> just go easy. That actually wasn't too bad. It wasn't bad at all. Bada bing, bada bing. And automatic gate hey, closing. Perfect. Yeah, that was perfect. <laughs> the gate. gate I know. There he comes. He's got new reverse lights up there. So he won't hit the hedge. He's doing good. Nothing to get closed. There you go. Here he comes. It. <laughs> we gotta get that off of there because that's gonna stink. Because that's gonna stink. This is all part of ATVing. Just when you ride them around to your house, you sometimes run over dog poop. <laughs> Couldn't have tried to hit more. Okay, with the magic of TV, we've got the dog poop removed from the wheels, and we'll do the we'll do the driving video. We got the uh, Defender in here. It has fender flares on it already. These fender flares are from Can-Am. So the fender flares that we got from A, A, and, UTV A and UTV Pro, we got here in the box. This box came from Amazon. It took one day for it to show up. And what do we got there, Mikey? Let's do an unveil, a fake unboxing. Yeah. A foxing. Foxing. What size? What do you think that? Both passenger side, probably. Right? Yeah, it's it's a fair bit. I mean, that's decent. Yeah. It's a fair bit. Uh, here, hold on to this, and I, I'm just going to grab the tape measure. We'll see what difference we have. So I'm going to go to the inside. So that's about. Two inches, shine it up there, Mikey, so you can get the measurement there. Two inches, that one is. Yep. And then with this one here, if we kind of mock it up, actually. You know what? It looks Let's like go it's with two up. inches. That one's probably four inches. Yeah. Roughly. Yep. It's two inches more. Like like just even doing this, Brandon. Yeah, you can tell. It, you can tell, and then we'll do uh, another measurement with it on it. Yeah. But it looks fairly straightforward, like, does. I mean, we've got a few bolts, obviously around there. Yep. That piece on there, bada bing, bada boom. Side? That's probably, and this fender here is going to be more than enough, like you said already, with this buggy, Brandon, given that the wheels are Tucked underneath the, the body, right? Tucked yeah. under the body. Luckily enough, here at uh, ATM Off-Road, we have a, a hoist, and we're lucky enough that Brandon has that ever-attractive headlight. Yes. <laughs> well, we're going to get the bike buggy up to like a waist height, we think. 
just kind of make it easier to hit those bolts. Make it a little easier for us old guys. Yeah. Again, from ANUTV Pro. Fenders for the, what's this called? This is a Defender. Defender. Well, we didn't get all the dog doo doo. We didn't get it all? We got most of it. Elevator up. Oh. Wow. Dead so You know what? A little bit higher, and I think we're good anyways, Brandon. Because it's not. Uh... That's what I mean, Brandon. I bet you it's those folded nuts into the plat. Oh. No, I think it's just. Uh... You think it's straight into the plastic? Yeah. All right. Does this? Let's check in here. I don't think we have hardware, so maybe it's right. What do we got? Two. Three. Oh, we got some hardware in there, Ben. I think we got six fenders because they're two piece in the back. And color instructions. And a little uh Hardware box. Hardware box? Yep. Okay. The little hardware box. Hey, Christmas day again. Oh yeah! Giggity diggity. You got me. Yeah, they're just self tappers. Are they really? Yep. yep. Maybe okay. a couple there's a couple of a couple of on a couple of these guys that are uh, big plugs yep. that'll push into the frame and then expand, like my, like me. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you pushed a couple of those into the last can of beer. All right, driver's side front, right into it. What, are those oh, self-toppers too, Brandon? too much, yeah, just self-toppers really? yep. in there. Probably the guys oh, from A and UTB Pro. Yeah. Oh, there it's Desi. Oh, perfect. Oh, Desi. Let's get him on FaceTime. Desi. Oh, better. How's that? That's much better. Hundred percent. Okay, hold on. This is this is a uh, Darren A and UTB Pro sent me some fender flares and some mirrors for the X3 to do an uh, install video on in the review. So you're right. you're part of it right now. You're, Mikey's filming. Lot, you're you're uh, part of the part of the video here, Desmond. Yeah, you're part of the video, buddy. Ah. So, All right, we're back. We're back. We're back. Right? Yeah. All right. Let me get you a fender. Left front fender. There you go, buddy. Thanks, man. You're welcome. Look at that, just a perfect machine and fit. Absolute, all right, let's back the drawing board. I'm pretty sure we got the right one here, man. Let's wipe that off. I was gonna say, give that a little, little love. We'll never see that again. Don't worry about scratching the paint. I'm just concerned where my beard is. <laughs> I don't wanna get any beard. Mechanics beer. fluid, my dad always called it. Mechanics fluid. Mechanics fluid. Beautiful. All right. So you want to use new hardware banner or what are we going to do here? Uh, or are these self tappers that came with the bike? The there you go. Now's the time to measure it. Yeah. You're probably, oh, you're at least doubling, right? Oh yeah, look at that. Very nice. So this one so here this is, what is that? Two and two and three quarters. Yep. Oops. Let's see. Three. What do you got there? Five. Five. Yep. Looks good. Yeah. And like, I think they're right just up. gonna line right up. Yep. Loose first, and then after, then you take it all off. 
That's just a tip. Yeah. It's a tip. Don't crank them right on there. Just give her the tip. You know what this is going to lead to? This is going to lead to getting 35 inch tires. And oh, now you're going to fill the. Like a you, dinky car with yeah. Tires now you're going to you gonna have to fill that wheel well you've just made, right? Yeah. As he's Same messing around with that. TV Pro, do you have rims and tires that you can. There you go. Do a review on those. Look at the difference. You can barely even see that one. And look at that. Perfect fit. All your holes line up, Brandon? Yeah. That's what she said. I mean, even if you're doing it for the look, I think it looks better. Yep. Back here. I like it. What are you tighten those to, Brandon? Four foot pounds? Yeah, not much. You're just going into plastic, right? So you don't want to. Yep. You don't want to strip it. That looks fantastic. Yeah. Nice fit. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Tight to the body. Tight to the body and the tire. This is going to eliminate a lot of the mud that, that was previously thrown up the side of it. And like you said, this buggy's not prone to massive amounts of mud flinging, but when you're running a nice finish like that, a, a nice, you know, slightly bigger fender like that's going to do the job, right? Mm -hmm. Not, like same rigidity what you're getting from factory stuff. Yeah. Very Beautiful. Nice. Let's, go to Let's the move to the back. You want the instructions or you're gonna wing it? <laughs> I'm gonna wing it. <laughs> so when I get to this part here, I yeah. think I might we got we got a little bit of drilling to do. Yeah. You want some pizza for dinner, Mikey? Oh now you're talking. Yeah. Little cheese wheel. We'll get the pizza guy in the video. Oh, oh, perfect, yes. <laughs> well, I like this one's got a nut. It says we got to drill holes with a twist pistol drill. What the heck is That's that? That's what it says. What's a a three millimeter twist pistol drill. All right, we can do that. I think this is a... Oh, that's where you do the plugs. Oh, you just plug in the back. I think I got a... What do you got? 10 mil, 10 millimeter. Talk to the fans. 10 millimeter combination. 10 millimeter. I think. Okay. Uh, I'm not really gonna argue. Anchovies. Why? Yeah, anchovies and... Do you like anchovies? No, I don't. You? Yeah. Really? Yeah. I don't, that... I don't, I would, I don't mind them. Yeah. Like, you don't mind them or you like them? Two minutes I ago like you them. said you I like, like them. them. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, 10 millimeters. 10 millimeter in the back, yep. There you go. Oh, that's just like a slip in. I could have just Yep. Okay, that's our. Let's put that in the factory pile. Oh, no, it's slipping. I mean, that piece was fairly easy, eh, Brandon? Yeah. That's going to be unbolt and bolt back in. And when then you get extra wide, it's going to keep seeing some of these scratches that are here. True. Yeah. It'll as keeps, you're going against the bushes. Yeah. It'll keep some of those bushes away yep. from, from the bodywork. Yep. And this piece, it looks like we're going to, it's going to tail down a little bit longer and we got a little bit of drilling to do here. But mm -hmm. I mean, nothing too, uh, nothing too crazy. Nothing too crazy. This one's basically re and re. Again, we're just going to use the factory hardware, although in UTD Pro complete the package with uh, all the hardware. It's always good to have extras. Oh boy. I see some big 32 inch tires in the future. Oh, oh, oh. Crystal Ball says 32 inch tires. Yeah. One might ask, why don't you go to 33s? I don't know if they fit. They might. Oh, with 33s, you're running on the other Can-Am, right? 32. So we've already tried 32s, right? Yeah, 32s yep. are on the... 32s from that uh, XRC, the 32s. Bolt right onto this. Fit mid. No problems. And 
let's be honest, improve the ride quality yeah. to some degree. I mean, I mean, it was uh, it was worth it. it took uh, it helped out with some of the high speed stuff, and we still got easy access to the dump handle. Everything bolted right back up. You can't go wrong with that. You got this one. A little oh, a 10 mil. I see a 10 mil nut on top. Perfect. Uh, gone. What do you think? It looks good. Look at the coverage you get there from the wheel. Yeah. yeah. The other one was basically, I mean, straight on. The other one, there's that. You can see the difference there. Oh, yeah. That's, that's, that's fantastic. Look at the difference. Yeah, look at the difference up top here. Huge. Yep. And looking, I mean, that's that's pretty good quality. Yeah. Same, I think same mill, if not thicker than factory. Yeah. Bolted Thanks. right back up. No, no messing around with the holes or anything. No. We didn't have back. anything in the back to sell out. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking that when it was going up. The back when we got a little bit of finesse work. We're gonna see what happens here. Fender pile here. Oh, spinning around. Oh boy. It's gonna make me take this whole inner fender thing off. Can you reach up and right in here, Brandon? Right oh, up there? Yeah. There you go. And then that that's gonna fit right there and we're gonna have to drill one and two holes down the bottom. Can't quite get in there. Let me try. I gotta, uh, well, it's just gotta contort your arm. You can try. Sure, if you want. But I don't think you'll get your hand in there. Where are you trying to get to? That one up under oh, there. Right here. Yeah. Oh, you might be able to do it if you do it that way, yeah. Under the waist. Yeah, we can do it can this get way. get to it? It's probably a 10 mil, Brandon. 10. Let me take the jacket off. Yeah, I don't get that hurricane performance. Well, as you can see, I've been working out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, cool. We'll do a little cleanup on the fender there. The difference. Look at that. You spend a couple of bucks with the Group from in A and U T V Pro, couple of bucks, and you get quite a bit better coverage. And this one, Brandon, I don't remember what I did with the directions. Here, so we got to drill the bottom two here, and probably that one, right? How do you get in there? What's that? What do you mean? To get the bolt tightened. I guess you got to use a little easier in different holes. Different spots. Are they in different spots? You know what? Maybe we we'll want this down. Maybe we we'll want the dump box down. Give it a dry fit versus a wet fit. I think you're about there. Like if you, if you use this, right? You think? And then check your holes. It goes in different holes. It does. Okay. Hold on a second here. We missed something. It says shift the transmission into park oh. and turn the key off. Really? Do we have to disconnect the battery too? <laughs> <laughs> I think we're, uh, we're, doing, we're doing okay. Place lower fender. Yeah. Because it's going to be tricky to get, so I won't be able to, I might be able to do it. I see what you mean. Like look here though, you want to yeah. probably angle it a little bit, do you think? There, um, right there. Well down here, see how it could fit, you want it to fit flush here. Yes, I got it, yeah. You want it to be a little yeah. bit higher than you don't the want bottom. To catch that. Yep. And then you want to follow along there, I would say. I think you're follow these lines here. Yep. Yep. Follow that. There like that. Yep. I'd say right like that right there. Let's see what you're doing in there. 
right marker action. You know what we One could do too, shot. Brandon? If you just mark here and here, and then we just... Oh, you got to drill. Yeah. yeah. Well, I don't have to drill because it's just going to be a self-tapper, right? Yeah. Be nice to pop a little hole there, then you know exactly where you're going though. That one you got yeah, marked, one. that one you got marked. As long as you have, I think, one of these, Brandon, yep. and that one down there, you'll be good. Yeah. Well, instead of drilling, we're gonna... Oh yeah, Or is that a self-tapper? Just hit it, it with is, a self-tap? It's gonna probably go all over the place. I'm gonna do it right What size torques you got, Brandon? T27 27 Torx, and we're going to use a quarter inch drive, quarter inch ratchet, quarter inch. You know, I gotta, what do you think? I'm going to test breathing these holes. Is it easier? So it's got a, Is thread, it? it's got a thread to a hole, a hole. here or, yeah. a, or, a, or a similar to this. Yeah, like an indent. Yeah. yeah. That would have been nice. It would have Here, you gotta. Here we go. Usually, beer falls out of there. <laughs> Only if you got Bruce with us. <laughs> Brucey beer. Yeah, that might be a hand tool only. So, those little dog leg pieces are a little more finicky, but I think we're gonna get the bang for the buck here once we're fully installed. You know what? Maybe don't do it all the way, Brandon. Start the other one. So, what do we gotta do down here, though? We gotta drill holes. So, so down there, we gotta drill a hole, too. So, maybe this whole thing's gotta come off. Like, is it the hole with the plug? This one down here? Yeah, that's gonna be the hole with the plug because you so got nothing down there. Of, this doesn't wanna be on right now. Though. So, just dry fit it like that, Brandon. Mark that hole. Even just stick that little screwdriver in there and scratch yep. it in there, right? Yeah. You're good? You got three little self tappers into the plastic there. Brandon's marking the last one. We got a mark. And then you might as well pull that off. Right? And then that one. This one here wants. Let's see what the instructions say here, Brandon. Here's the other one. Uh, oh, we're supposed to put it in park. We forgot oh, to do that. Oh. Drill holes in the front of the fender cave. We did that. This, 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 this is, is my this. favorite part with a twist pistol drill. This one here. Okay, insert rubber plugs. 12.5 millimeter installation holes is what we need down here. Okay. 12.5 millimeter. Is that just the one hole at the bottom, right? Yeah. Okay. So. This one. This hole. Or here. So my hole was here. Yep. And I'm going to use a small drill bit. To drill that hole. We're just right. kind of centering it, right? That's yeah. what we're using that small bit for? Yeah. We use this big guy. And we have our rubber plug. Over here in the tool kit provided. Oh, look at that. Oh, yeah, it's got to have a special. Gotcha. a little tight. I didn't do it exact because I didn't know. You don't want to go, you don't want to oversize that hole, no, right? So maybe go. give it a little act. There we go. There you go. Oh. You don't want that to spin when you're putting that other one in, right? No. That's got to kind of stay. Or fall in the hole. Or fall in the hole, yep. Okay, so we got that done. You got you to gotta hit that one, Brandon? That one. Oh, oh. Already? Pizza. What's your name, brother? Uh, Luca. What's that? Uh, Luca. Luca, we're doing a little video here. Yeah, if you don't mind being on. We're doing a little video for uh, a couple of parts we got. Yeah, you don't mind being on YouTube, do you, Luca? Yeah, right on. What's your guys' channel? I'll give you a sticker. Okay. <laughs> Where are the stickers? They're up in the door. <laughs> ATM off road. Oh, yeah. ATM off road. Does that come with a washer? Let's get you a washer. Yeah, man. There you go. Yeah? Yep. Oh, no. Oh, this one's a little bigger. Yeah, you think? See. Yep. Try that one. Yeah. Oh. Bada bing, bada boom. That is out. Hmm? That 
washer. I don't think it wants a washer. Well, it doesn't want a washer. Maybe, you know what? Maybe you shouldn't. Because if it's going to rip off, you want it to rip right through that plastic. It's running smooth. How are those anchovies, Mike? You like, Fishy. You like Fishy. the anchovies? I don't like anchovies, Brandon. Who orders anchovies on pizza? I do, I do. <laughs> <laughs> you did, you did. did. Well, that's when we had to punch out. Put that rubber plug. Yeah. Right? You're getting the last one in there, Brandon? You know they're both? Um, I, no, I'm just going to nope. this one here. And then I got one more after this. See, this is going to be tricky. How do you expect to do that? I guess I need a, a Torx, like a, just a regular one of these, but a Torx. This well, one, why don't you this one fit pull that off the ratchet and get, you're going to get it 90% of the way in by your hand. folks so that uh, we'll save you some time. <laughs> You gotta buy a bit of real estate, but then when we're tightening, you're gonna have to do like a few turns, a few turns, a few turns, right? So you got fingers like uh, yeah, this is sausage. A yeah, it's a bit tight getting uh, tools behind there. Once we get her on, she'll be a nice product. While Brandon goes to the toolbox, I'm gonna make my way over here to the beverage counter. You want one, Brandon? Yes, please. Are the hot dog buns in there from like 10 rides ago? If you had the right tools, it would be a cinch. Right? I'm busy right now, eating pizza. <laughs> so the lower part of the fender was a little trickier than the top part, eh, Brandon? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, to put our thinking cap on and make yeah. this one happen. Just getting in those spaces there with uh, any kind of tools is a little bit tight, but. It would have been better if they had a notched it out. Similar to like this is notched out with the screw. Here the screws are in behind here, so it's kind of tight. We'll get her. We just gotta be a little bit creative, I think is the only difference here. Yeah, pack your patience. Yeah. Or you could just drill holes in it, but I think if you spend an extra few minutes here, you'd be better off doing it this way. Yeah, Happer, happier with the end result. Yeah, you got some needle nose vice grips there, just grabbing that last yeah. little bolt. Those girls right there. That's I think no matter what you do, unless you have that little, uh, you know what, grab that piece that, this one, Brandon, the socket, where'd I put that? Right here. Have you got, like grab that with vice grips, like grab that thing. What size you got do you do this one again? I had to reach my hand in there while you stood and watched. Didn't you agree? Missed ya. Yes, I did. Oh, who's calling? That's Charlie. Oh, hello, girl. Here. Yeah. Hello, Charlie. Girl. Yeah. Charlie and Mike. Yeah. Yeah, my best buddy. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Mm. Okay. Mm. Oh, wow. Make sure you get me all hairy. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Charlie. All right, all right. We'll Come see on, ya. Thanks. How are you? Good. Here's Good. Mama Bear. Okay, goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> okay, goodbye. All right. All right, you want to do your Houdini thing on this again, or yeah. you want me to figure it out? Yep. Here. Where is it again? Right up here. Yeah. I'm wondering if you come down from the top. Oh, from up here? Mm -hmm. Yeah. What do you think, a stool? No, I just lift the thing down. Yeah, we won't crush them. They'll just be underneath the buggy. Here you go. Done. Teamwork, Jerry. Nice. That was good. I think they're all out of it now. What's Unless that? I left that one screw in there. Oh, no, there she goes. <laughs> oh, we haven't done the front yet. <laughs> See what I have to deal with here, folks. <laughs> Give me, oh, that's why I'm the cameraman. <laughs> that's why I work the camera. Oh, dear. There it is. There you go. Wow. What this is a tight fit from before. Key to that. A little bit of spit. <laughs> there you go. There you go. 
that just kind of collapses when you put that bolt in there and mushrooms yeah. in the back, right? Side. Yep, just pinch, pinches it in there. Here we go. Is this the right piece, Mike? That's the right piece. I was going to picture the back, but the tank was in the way. <laughs> it looked like a solar eclipse. <laughs> Says the toothless guy. <laughs> That's a medical problem. Oh, I'm sorry. Is that below the belt? <laughs> it's below the belt. Speaking of below the belt, what are you, what are you working on here? <laughs> Knit that himself. Look at that. Stretching. Is it stretching? Oh, hell yeah. No way. That's a dinner belt. Look at that. The pants and the belt are stretchy. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Everything will last forever here. Yeah. All about longevity. And one one Phillips. Though it's, Maybe it's that's it's, what they wanted you to use here. I bet you ten bucks. It was a bull and a nut. Push a bolt through there. Yep. Put a nut on the other side. Okay. So right. here's here. What do we do, Brandon? Okay. So up here, as you can see, there's a notch out that allows you to access the hardware. In here, there's no notch out. on this panel. There's no notch, no notch out on the outside to the access where the hardware is going to be. Yeah. So on the other side, we struggled because we're trying to get this bolt to thread through here and try and attach well you saw it all it was a gong show yeah super tight we made so it we, work and we and we created this and we made it work like probably some of you still will but this is what you're supposed to do there's this hardware that was in the kit so you're supposed to drill these holes push this hardware through hold on to it and tighten it from the back side. So this is the way we're gonna try this one. See how <laughs> see how challenging that's gonna be. So just for fun, we're gonna do yeah. this fender the right way. For you guys. Just for you guys. Just for the followers. Yeah. They're all those YouTube ATM aficionados. Yeah. Okay, which hole is it? This one? Let's see how they make out there. I think that's perfect, right? Yeah. Bada bing, bada boom. Just like that. Oh my gosh, this is going to be so much easier. Should we use the washers? Uh, why don't... What do you think? Yeah. Yeah. These are on this side anyways. On which side? This side. I think I should use it on the back. You want to use it on the back side or no? Um, doesn't really matter. No. It just might be a bitch. Well, you're going to want to do that side. Yeah, the, washer, the, arm, the washer's the not going to make a difference. I just think it might be tricky. Huh? Well, I guess you can. Yeah. This is so much easier. <laughs> That's the, you know what? The directions could have been a little clearer on that as to using the nuts and bolts on this side. That yeah. would have helped, but it, well, I didn't see it in the directions. Okay. All right, Mikey's going in. Really? Yeah. Are you on the second one already? Yeah. No and way. You dropped it on the floor, and thanks for not picking it up. Yeah, I did. No. I did you find it? Yeah. Because there's a whole bunch on the counter. Right? Thanks for going over to get one. <laughs> Oh, all right, that one's a bit tighter. Glad to see you wore your old clothes mm. for this, Mike. Yeah. Oh. Uh oh, way to go. Duck in here. It helps when you stare straight up at the ceiling <laughs> when you're at. You know what helps is you staying quiet when I'm trying to do it. <laughs> <laughs> that helps. Do you want me to put more. it up in the air and you can do it from the bottom? Nope, done. What you got? I just got to tighten them up. So what size is it? Ten? Yeah. You got all the tools you need over there. I got a ten. And you have the uh, Allen wrench. I'm just glad you're doing it, not me. Your fingers are a little more you know what? dainty. 
Grab me a 10 mil for this little quarter inch. Uh, oh, a 10 mil for that? Right, and let's try that. A deep or a shallow? Uh, deep. We're going deep, folks. We're going deep. Then we got one more to go, folks. This batch is weird. I know. And I didn't recognize it until months and months later when I decided to finally use the brand new tool that I bought. I'm like, what is this? No wonder why it was on sale. And we can do a test video of this uh, on Sunday. It's only a special, super special washer. Some really expensive one. Look at those big little screws that are sticking out of there. Oh, you know what though? The directions were bad for that. Uh, like, nowhere did it say use that. Cooking with oil, I think, Co is the cooking with oil. The expression, but Mike likes no, it's to make, cooking with fire. make things up. Cooking with when, cooking the last with time fire. Barbecued with oil. Yeah, pretty much every time we go camping, bud. Yeah, we had a couple incidents. Uh, anybody want a roasted chicken? Roasted chicken, Mars bar, <laughs> Oreo oh, cookie. Yep. Donuts. Donuts. We do everything in the air fryer. Or not air fryer, the actual boiling oil. Yeah, vat of oil. Vat of oil. Actually, what do you, like, do you want to go camping in May for a weekend? Where? Uh, I don't know. we got to figure that out. Chris was just asking me. Was yeah, right over. sure. It's usually crappy, though. Yeah, but drink beer and hooting and hollering. Who cares? Put on a tarp cape and... Yep. Yeah. Scooter ride. Right into the sunset. Uh -huh. Yeah. Then I need better clothes. Yeah. That's Lululemon's fault for not making oil resistant pants. Yes, Lululemon. You think? I think it looks good. Just gotta do that. Yeah. Do that bottom one up there. That's not bad at all. That's a nice finish. Not like. I know. Yeah, there was. We're down to 10%, so you gotta move quick. Not bad for our friends at ANU TV Pro. ANU TV Pro. ANU TV Pro. Bada bing. There we go. ANU TV Pro has stereo systems. Hey. Uh, now you're yeah. thinking, now you're cooking with fire or oil. Oh, I need fire. <laughs> <laughs> this the front fenders are just a joke compared to the back. Yeah. Oh no. All right, bolts are on. They gave us two left sides. Like two minutes a side here, and we get the fronts on. Simple compared to the back. Yeah, the, back's the back wasn't really that hard. Just we didn't uh, think it through. But that's why we made the video, Brandon. Yeah. So we can save all you YouTubers time. Yep. Grief. Z Dewalt came out with a ratchet now. Oh, they got one of these? Mm -hmm. Yeah. There you go. That's well, that's we're it. down to four percent, man. So let's do a final plug for A and U T V. Pro, I think uh, I think it looks good. You can't complain about the fit and finish. I mean, uh, it looks kind of factory to me, right? Yeah. All into the same factory holes up front, the back, a little bit of tweaking, but the bonuses we got a whole uh, lower portion of the fender that wasn't there. Same passenger side, all into the factory holes. Factory holes, and then a little bit of uh, rig and, rigmarole here, but once we got it in, I think it turned out nice. What do you think, Randall? Yeah, it looks good. Yeah? The tire sits way in. Oh yeah, look at that. Look at the difference in the back now. Yeah. Now we need a big dirty tire in there. Yeah. Oh, this you probably got. This will keep a lot of the brush away from the. Side away from the body. body. Yeah. Yeah, that's 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 not a bad piece. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
Nice job. Yep. A and UTV Pro. Yep. A and UTV Pro. Good stuff.